Mr. Microphone, how many of you remember those? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Not very fondly. <laughs> Not very fondly, that's fine. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, let's just take that deep breath. So much going on right now, so much flowing. <laughs> I picked the title of this talk because I'm not a techie person. And I thought it would be fun. <laughs> Asha's smiling at me because she is a techie person. In fact, we met quite a number of years ago. That's what you were doing in, uh, in addition to your music, was a computer person. And I was always like, wow, that's just so cool. And I still don't have a clue uh, what to do with a computer most of the time. But I'm very grateful that when I do try to do something that in response to my request, or I'm asking Cheryl if she's able to help me. But what I've, what I've noticed is, here's an app, there's an app, everywhere's an app, app, right? <laughs> it's kind of like the old McDonald had a farm. Everywhere you look, there's an app for something. So I looked up the definition of an app. I thought this was apropos, right? <laughs> An app is a type of software for your phone, your computer, that allows you to perform specific tasks. It's self-contained programs. Hear that self? Pay attention to those words. Self-contained programs used to enhance existing functionality in a simpler, simpler, more user-friendly way. In essence, they are created to make life easier and to help you accomplish your tasks and achieve your desired outcomes. Wow. What have we been talking about all month long? Gratitude. So how does gratitude work in your life? Do you find that perhaps it enhances your life? Does it make it simpler and easier? Is it user-friendly? Not always. Okay. And does it help you to accomplish your tasks and to achieve or attain or aspire to the greater outcome, a desired outcome? So take just a moment and just be with that. How is gratitude working in your life? The law of attraction reminds us what? The more energy we have that we put into something, we're going to attract more of that. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. Like attracts like. Last week, when Sydney was talking about appreciation, I love appreciation, but do you notice the first three letters in that word too? Right? It's amazing when we really stop to notice what is happening around us? There are endless things, endless things to be grateful for. I did a talk several years ago, and it was about gratitude. And it was about gratitude and grace. I, I saw gratitude as a gateway to grace. And that was a focus of my talk. And today, it's really the same thing, in essence. But gratitude, to me, is also like a gateway to God. Well, God is grace. We say grace in thanksgiving. Where does that word come from? So as you hear me talking even, and you're hearing my word, there's a language that I'm speaking. Ideally, you can understand me, and I'm saying words that you're taking in, in your system, your operating system, and you're able to come up with some kind of an understanding. Perhaps everything I'm saying is just totally gobbledygook. I feel like as we create experiences in our life, and what I wanted to offer you today was the idea of creating your own gratitude app. How would you develop that? How would you create it? Perhaps it would be different, and I suspect that it would for each and every one of you, because we are charged by... We are elevated by, we are expanded by different things. And those things are merely energy. Everything is energy, is at least what I believe. So if you were creating a gratitude app for yourself, what would it contain? 
If you look back, say, over the course of this month, because we've specifically been focusing on gratitude, have you had some awarenesses? Even the exercise that Sydney led you through last week, were there different awarenesses, ahas, that you had that ideally brought you closer to that experience of gratitude, to where you truly become the embodiment of gratitude. I love this quote by Rumi. Wear gratitude like a cloak, and it will feed every corner of your life. Perhaps you could envision that. Imagine putting on your cloak of gratitude. And to me, cloak is the same thing to me as a consciousness. Is it not? Because if that's what we embody, and that's the energy from which we live, how amazing is that? That we can elevate, expand, and truly fall into that place and space of pure consciousness. To me, that's what gratitude is a portal. It's a gateway. We hear a lot about a black hole, or we hear a lot about, if you watch any programs on TV or do any reading, about energy and matter and dark matter and all these kinds of things to where everything is energy. David Hawkins, in his books, if you're not familiar with Power Versus Force and, and some of the others that he's written, it's fascinating to go beyond the limitations of our human mind and to truly begin to open and expand to a greater understanding of what gratitude can really do for you. It truly is, I think, an app of abundant living. It's an app that allows you to ascend to a higher dimension out of this 3D place in which we live to where everything gets so convoluted at times. We can have a higher, cleaner, clearer understanding of what is truly happening in our lives. To me, it's being able to, to see that we are not separate. That we are one. That we are part of the whole. That holistic model. That we are part of that hologram. That oneness. I think that is such a gift to say, wow, I am grateful for that knowing. I am grateful for that awareness that I have right now that allows me to feel and to know that I am part of all that is. I am not separate. But in our human moments, like we shared this morning, like Melanie, even in her prayer and acknowledgement of, sometimes it feels like we are so alone when we are going through those dark nights of the soul, if you will. But the good news is that gratitude, and it's more than an attitude. To me, gratitude is a choice. It's a conscious choice that we make to say yes to life. To say yes to life. Gratitude is more than words just spoken, such as thank you. Rather, it is an energy that carries a vibration that reaches into the heart of another or into the universe. Gratitude is a softening of the heart. It is a recognition, recognize, recognition, of the soul for something we have allowed in and are deserving of. It is an all-encompassing energetic imprint that says yes to life. Breathe that in. That is powerful stuff, folks. Powerful stuff. This energetic signature that you have Sometimes they talk about an energy set point that we have or a happiness set point. They talk about it years ago in weight. We used to talk about a set point. And you're never going to get, you know, beyond it, under it, or, or anything. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. What I'm saying, I'm glad. Isn't it funny how we say, that? I'm so sorry. It's like, no, I'm not sorry at all. I'm glad that that is something that I know that a set point is just a bunch of baloney. To me... I can rise or expand or do whatever it is I want to do anytime I want to do. Because I am what? Just like each and every one of you. I am part of that whole. I am part of all that is. Not just through me, but as me. As we were singing earlier. 
this morning. By the way, the Ricky Byers Beckwith song, Let the Love Wash Over Me, that is my all-time favorite. And so when we started singing that, that's why you saw me stand up. Because it was like, oh, I'm in this waterfall. That's what the sound meditation is all about. It's like a wash. It's like a cleansing. It's like a purification. And in that moment, it's like, yes, I am so grateful to know that I live in a world, in a galaxy, in a cosmos. That what? Recognizes me, I recognize it because I am it. I am it, as are every one of you. The thing that's so cool too about gratitude, gratitude, it's free. Some apps you pay for, do you not? And a lot of apps are free, but the thing is, is before you download an app, what do you need to do? You need to make sure there's not any, what are those things called, malware, or there's some kind of funky stuff in there that's going to mess up your phone or your computer. You want to know the source of it, do you not? You want to know if you can what? Trust it. Can you trust the app that you would create for yourself? Some eyebrows are going up right now. Some heads are shaking. That's something to really take a look at. Would you be able to trust the development of and the creation of an app that you would put together for yourself for you to become a greater experience, a greater embodiment of gratitude? To me, it really calls you to look at what it is in your life that you can truly trust. And if you bump up against that, then to me it's also calling you to do some self-inquiry, to go inside and do some, some work. It's very important that we do that. So we live in this wonderful, generous universe. Everybody agree with that? Even though sometimes it may not feel like it, but it truly is. Gratitude is infectious. That's a good thing. It penetrates, cleanses, and overcomes the negative. When two frequencies are brought together, the lower will always rise to meet the higher. Pay attention to what I'm reading to you now. Sheds are shaking. This is a principle of resonance. So when a piano is tuned, and Asha, all you music lovers out there, a tuning fork is struck and then brought closer to the piano string that carries that same musical tone. The string then raises its vibration automatically and attunes itself to the same rate at which the fork is vibrating. Using this principle of resonance, we can actually increase the speed at which the molecules in our bodies vibrate through our thoughts of love, joy, and gratitude. Let's try that again. Through love, joy, and gratitude. gratitude. There you go. You got it. Isn't that amazing what it can do for you? I think it's so cool, these gifts that are just, you know, streaming to us and we go, oh, I don't want that one because it doesn't quite look like the gratitude I had in mind, right? No, I'll, I'll opt for something else. When atoms slow down, third dimensional matter is created. When they speed up, the higher dimensions of consciousness can be reached. And the higher our consciousness is raised, and this is the, the clincher, the closer to spirit we become. Oh, isn't that awesome? Can you feel the God bumps? What are you grateful for right now? One thing, just in your mind, pop it in. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the ultimate, where does it sit? Where does it fall? Breathe it in. Is it even on the scale? All right, again, think of one more thing right now that you're grateful for. Raise it up just a bit. What's something that you can immerse yourself in right now? And you are guaranteed to be raised and uplifted. This is a wonderful exercise to do throughout your day. And your wonderful phone can also 
be your partner to help you do this. You can set your phone to remind you. Oftentimes people have a bell go off or they'll have something go off because we use it for so many things and we're so busy, busy, busy with it. But can you allow it to bring you to that place of, oh, wow, I'm closer to God. I'm closer to spirit. I kind of see an app like a credit card. That's okay. Credit cards can be scary, but we're going to look at it in, in a good light in this way. To where we receive a credit card, right? We apply for something, but you know what? Gratitude, we don't have to apply for it, do we? Right? It's, it's a free gift. So we, what do we have to do for that card to work? Activate it. Activate it. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And then we have to what? I'll say applicate it. We apply it. We use it. We set it into motion, do we not? We flip it on. We activate it with a phone call or however we do it. Then we apply it. And then what happens once it's applied? You get a bill. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, you do. It's circulating, is it not? That energy of what you've set in motion is circulating, right? Yep. Okay. And then... When the bill comes, what do we do? We appreciate it, right? Oh, no. See? Isn't it interesting how we view things in the process of life? Why would we not appreciate that bill when it shows up? When we made a choice, perhaps an unconscious one, in that moment, to purchase something. So we can say, you know what? I'm going to commit to appreciating everything. No exception. Oh, I know. Even for me right now in my journey, I'm like really bumping up against that one. A little true confessions here this morning. But I am, I'm hanging in there. And it feels like it's one of the most uh, <laughs> exhausting workouts at times that I've ever been through. But I'm okay. I'm okay because... Like I shared with you earlier, I am really learning to appreciate every single thing that shows up and to get out of my own way and to just know something different. And so that calls me, just like I'm encouraging each and every one of you, to take a look at in that moment, what can I call in that I know is a guaranteed gratitude, you know, what? Upper. That's what I'm looking for. Because in that moment, I may be feeling something in my humanness, and my energy is just tugging in it, and it's pulling me into a place that I don't want to go. So I, in that moment, have to make a choice. And I see it that way. I have to make a choice. And I can say I'm not going to make a choice, but not making a choice to me is still making a choice. So in that moment, when the going gets tough, I go get my gong. <laughs> I kid you not. That has become one of my best friends. And as I continue to research about vibration, 21 minutes with my gongs, my bowls, all of that can shift. But I'm, I'm sort of learning how to condense it. But truly, with, with what vibration can do, everything from PTSD to Alzheimer's to cancer, and the list goes on of what vibration can tr truly bring and what happens in the cells in the body. And also, I was going to actually call my talk Grooving on Gratitude and be grateful for neuroplasticity to where the grooves that are already there, we can change those folks. We can smooth them out and create new ones and create new grooves. No kidding, no joking. You are more powerful than you know. When you truly understand frequency and vibration, there is no limit. So this time of the year, this season, when things are, like I said, can be tough for some people, the holidays can bring up all kinds of things, you can make a choice. And if you're struggling with that choice, reach out to somebody. Go into a time of prayer or meditation. What works for you? What brings you closer to that place, that frequency of gratitude? Instantly. Instantly. So that you can conjure up a thought and you're there. Instantly. It's like, beam me up, Scotty. Poof. 
I'm there right now. I don't have to hesitate and I don't have to wait. And that's not about being impatient. It's about wanting to be in that energy of love and peace and joy. Excuse me. A couple questions to ask. What kind of life do you desire? So what are you putting into your app? What kind of life do you deserve? Do you remember the quote I read a minute ago? That you are deserving of. It is God's good pleasure, what? To give you the kingdom. And your translation to that is, there are treasures and riches in store. And it's not about, oh, I want stuff. It's about being immersed in that energy of riches and opulence that I spoke about last time I spoke with the gift and giving. That is our nature. That is our nature. And we deny it at times. We deny it. In your current programming, are your beliefs based in an abundant, generous universe or one of scarcity and lack and separation, as I mentioned earlier? Is your system, because what? In order to have an app, it's got to be compatible with what? You, your system, your operating system, right? Because if you try to bring in something to the computer and it can't translate it and understand it, guess what? Nothing's going to happen. So you, you got to ask those questions. I'm doing pretty good for somebody who doesn't understand computers. So I appreciate you listening and being patient with me. It's, it's great. I'm walking my way through it, one breath at a time. Is your frequency resonant with the vibration of abundance and gratitude? Are you ready to receive it? Is there space? Or is your computer, your phone, yourself already full of so much stuff that you need to defrag what? All of this? You need to defrag your filters, folks. Boy, that was a tongue twister. You do. Maybe declutter your house. That too. Declutter your house, your heart, your brain, all of it. Exactly. And take a look around. But you do. You need to let it go because the universe, and if you want this app to work and you have nowhere to download it, hello, it's not going to happen. And there's a frustration. Well, I'm doing all the right things, Jeannie. I'm, I'm being thankful for this and I'm being thankful for that. I'm, and I'm doing all these things that Melanie's been talking about, Cindy, but nothing's happening. And I'm like, okay. That's like people working with me and they want to know how I lost 100 pounds 20 years ago. And they come to me and I say, okay, you want to work with me? And I say, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to do? It ain't easy, but it's doable. And you cannot just attain it. You can sustain it. And it's the same thing with gratitude. Like the cloak. You don't ever have to take that thing off, except you might want to rinse it out once in a while or wash it with love. So the question is, does your BS contain an OS that says YES, right? Does your belief system contain an operating system, be it God, Buddha, higher power, nature, that's compatible with the divine download and one that says yes? Hmm. This big smile over here. Asha, she's like, Jeannie, you're crazy. And I'm just loving it. No, it's in a good way. I'm a good kind of crazy. And, and I'm really learning to, if I have longer hair, I'd be really letting my hair down because it's like, yeah. I'll have to bring a picture sometime of when I used to have really long hair in high school. And I tell people that was really when I was in drag. <laughs> Truly. So it's, it's kind of a fun thing. But anyway, I can be grateful for all of it. And that's what I'm learning to do, like every single one of you. So a few things to leave you with before I close. In establishing that connection to source in order for you to be able to download, to receive, and to allow this application of gratitude to truly enhance your life, to elevate you so that you can be elevated, you can celebrate, you can appreciate, and continue on making a difference in the world to be of service so that your supply is endless. Step one, summoning and affirming gratitude. It's a sure way to get your life back on track. Call it forth. Call it forth. And let it work for you. Opening our eyes to affirm gratitude grows the garden of our inner abundance. Just as standing close to a fire eventually warms your heart. 
gratitude works. Be in the now. Mindfulness. You know, I'm big about mindfulness. How can you change anything when you're over here worrying about what happened in the past and still living in that, and you're out here in the future fearful of what's to be right here, right now? So gratitude can say, okay, you're here with me now. I got you. Three, learn to cultivate the wondrous ability of commanding a flow. Not saying, please, universe, will you? God, help me. No, no, command it. Command it. Just like a menu in a restaurant. The universe is like, what do you have? What do you have? Put in your order and command it with gratitude, with love. And in that commanding of that quantum field, from that quantum field, be willing to share it. That's also the ticket because what? Back into circulation. Share it for the empowerment and benefit of others. Remember my quote last, last month, and if you don't remember it, I'm really going to be upset with you. It was about bestowing our gifts on others. It was about giving that out and keeping things in circulation. Open yourself to receive, breathing in and breathing out intentionally. Allow. There's another big word. To allow. To trust, let it go, and allow it to come into you. As the gratitude app is activated in your life, in your physical and non-physical body, miracles begin to appear. You begin to notice them. And that's the next step. Step number six. To notice and observe what are the sensations in your physical body? What are the sounds? Where is your breath? Where are you with this experience of gratitude so that you recognize it? And you know when you're in it, and you know when you're out of it. Step seven, say thank you to gratitude. You can be grateful for gratitude. Grateful for gratitude that it is. The spiritual tool of gratitude is here to create your beautiful life. And then you begin to apply it. It unlocks the riches of life, of our relationships. Cindy mentioned that last week in terms of our social connection with people when we are interacting and exchanging in that way. It unlocks the riches of our life, our relationships, and sacred connectivity. That is so beautiful to me, just so beautiful. Gratitude is a burning ember that illuminates the shadows. It is a spark that serves to ignite a compassionate flame in yourself and in others. So this holiday season, and throughout the rest of your, your life, in this plane and all the others, allow that light of gratitude to shine through you and your heart to open to compassion. Embody the energy and essence of gratitude so that wherever you go, your presence, just your presence, transform the world, flowing peace and love to all. So let's take these words and this energy into a time of meditation.